grab your coffee, grab your ice water. We are about to jump in in uh, less than a minute. If you're in the game, you can pop over here. You'll see an upcoming game starts uh, right now, 52 seconds. So let me try and run through a couple of these last stocks. I actually had Apple today. Uh, let me go out to the daily chart so we can see what's going on in Apple. And again, a big thing we're talking about today, you can see that this is where all the money's lost in this potential change of trend zone where everybody gets chopped up. But if you understand how to read potential change of zones, if you understand what it takes to finally push through there and when something becomes a high probability trade versus you are the first person getting those arrows shot in the back. What I'm trying to get across here is the first time it pushes through, you should have lower risk. As it becomes a little bit more obvious, then you could size up and even hold a little bit longer. All right, we are about to start in 10 seconds. So what we are going to do now is we're just going to make sure Apple stays below that level. Uh, Roku, we actually put this on the blog a couple of days ago, stuck between that $70 and $72 level. Let's see what happens here right out of the gate. We are now filling the positions. We are going to jump in and take a look at my trades. Again, don't forget the trades are made based on where the stock opens, and we're going to get a good fill right now. So you can see I'm actually all the way down here. I'm actually negative on the day so far. We're going to take a look at Chloe Shepard. What is Chloe loaded up on right now? Most of the position is long Twitter. Let's actually take a look. And now we're going to actually zoom down into the 15-minute charts to see. Well, actually, Chloe, this is actually a bottom fisher. You have basically gap down and you're picking a bottom and loading up on a stock that's trading at the lowest. Pretty interesting. That is a gutsy call. Let's actually go to the intraday and see what's going on there. So you actually got a really good bounce off of the previous day's low. Uh, we do have a lower low, lower low, lower low, lower high. Um, might actually start reversing here. So your P&L, Chloe, might start seeing a downturn there, but I like the guts of, uh, of picking it in the game. Uh, let's see, A. Parkinson. We'll take a look here. Oh, wow, spread out over multiple trades. I like the way he did it. A short across the board. Take a look at that. Believing everything is heading down today. That is awesome. Uh, loaded up on Square and Baba on the short side. Let's take a look at those for Mr. or Mrs. Parkinson. Let's take a look at Baba first. Oh, actually, Baba, we just called out before, is kind of in a sideways Price action right now. Uh, you might have caught the bottom, uh, the top though there. What are we seeing here? We're actually seeing a nice push up. Again, what we said, failed test of the high. If this thing comes in, you got a massive amount of potential on the short side. What was the other position there that you had a lot of shares in? It was Square. Actually, Square, you had three times as many um, trade uh, shares there. So what do we got in Square on the short side? Much better look there in Square on the five-minute chart to be short. Again, you're kind of picking a top there, but I give you the gut. Actually, you know what? This is actually a really good example here. Inside candle breakdown. We call this out all of the time. And actually, this is an awesome, awesome lesson. Inside candle, inside candle, big trend. Inside candle, big push down. This is exactly why we put this on the blog every day. This is why we call this out. This is one of the most powerful moves on a daily chart as well as on intraday signals. Inside candle, inside candle, explosion, inside candle, explosion. Now, if we put this in the context of a longer-term picture, the stock is clearly in an uptrend. Clearly, there's buying order flow right now, but you pull out of the long-term scenario and you go inside candle breakdown or inside candle explosion, that's how you end up getting a bigger P&L in a stock that is actually longer-term order flow, a buy. Uh, let's see, Walter actually just jumped to the top of the pile. What do we got here? 3,300 shares short Tesla. All right, I know DB is going to like that call. Let's actually see what's going on in Tesla here. Ooh, helps if I spell it correctly. All right, Tesla. Tesla actually bouncing, but we're actually going to be looking at it on the shorter time frames and see, might have caught the top there at the 290 level. So that's probably where that short in Tesla is coming from. So 3,300 shares short. And a thousand dollar P and L there so far. Uh, let's see, we got a new person in the. Oh, Walter just jumped back in, but let's take a look here at um, uh, Walter. Actually, wow, Tesla's starting to pile up. We might want to stick with Walter. You can see why Walter's a specialist here. Uh, let's take a look at what the picks we have here. Nine hundred dollar payout. I uh, loaded the boat on another Twitter long. Wow, what is going on? Does somebody know something I don't? What's going on in Twitter here? By the way, make sure you stick around to the end because at the end of the game, 
We're going to have these sweepstakes for those who finished in the money for the Amazon gift cards. You want to make sure you stick around. Oh, my gosh. Look at you guys who picked the bottom in Twitter. You, you sneaky bottom fishers. Not a trade I would have taken, but that's the whole point in the game. That's why the game is awesome, because it's a game. Oh, my gosh. You take these kind of trades that you wouldn't normally take with real money and loaded the boat in Twitter. That is a gutsy, gutsy trade. Let's see. Abel M. 1969. Uh, very big in Roku Long and Baba Short. Let's take a look at Roku. We haven't looked at that one yet. Roku Long, uh, kind of bottom fishing there as far as looking for it intraday. However, I want to put this in context. It's not bottom fishing if it's a long on the daily chart because if you like it long on the daily chart and it bottoms out, that's actually a good entry. Let's see where we're looking. So, again, bottom of the day, finding a spot to manage the bid in a stock that is strong. That's the way you're supposed to trade. Now, the only downside to this position is the fact that the stock is stuck between 70 and 72 for roughly five or six trading days. However, if you found a support level intraday at 70, which is a support level on the daily, that's what could make you start to load the boat in a stock at a support. So you're kind of getting that there in the Roku, and that's why you're seeing the positive P&L there from Abel M. Uh, let's see, Wist. 1973, also showing some guts. I love to see this loading up on more shares. Don't do the minimum. Show some guts and say you know what you're doing and pick stocks. Get in there. What do we got? The biggest position, Facebook long right now, uh, 1,688 shares allocated to Facebook long. We know Facebook long term is in a downtrend. Let's actually see what's going on. Uh, here's where it is. Maybe bottoming out. We're showing some support here. And what does it look like on the intraday chart? So you actually did find a bid there around the 159.50 level. The big question now at Facebook is after this momentum move up for uh, roughly uh, 80 cents, does it pause, go sideways, and then retest today's high? So you basically have the room between now 160 and 161, uh, let's call it 161.10. So does that move happen sometime in the next nine minutes? You might actually end up farting around going sideways here looking for a push higher so we will take a look at that. But I like that call bidding intraday. Longer term, it's, it's, a, it's in selling order flow. But look at all the positive P&L. I like that you uh, hedged your portfolio a little bit here. NVIDIA is not a stock that we took a look at. Let's take a look at NVIDIA. I believe I actually had NVIDIA on my trade today too. Uh, no, actually I did not. And specifically because of the sideways price action. What is interesting though, if you are an active short-term trader and you're looking for something to do, we had a bottoming tail here, which usually means a lot more after momentum. This has not really moved that much, but bottoming tail here on the five-minute chart leading to some momentum. Let's take a look and see what it looks like on the daily chart. Yeah, kind of choppy here, and actually, as a matter of fact, we see one, two, three days of well-offered in a row now, and one, two, three days of what is known as topping tail shoving that price lower again. So it is actually a really interesting call in NVIDIA. I would actually be looking for NVIDIA to roll over. One, two, three days well offered. Kept getting shoved down here. Actually, four days in a row if you go back to this one. So what I'd be looking for in NVIDIA here right now is I would actually be looking for NVIDIA to roll over. That's going to be interesting. Let's keep an eye on that between now uh, and before the end of the game. Abel actually jumped back in. Let's see what actually Mr. or Mrs. Herzog has here loaded up on Roku Long. So a few people like that 70 bid in Roku Long. You can see where the fill was. That is actually pretty darn good to get a fill like that. IBM Short. I think IBM is kind of neutral in the daily chart, but that doesn't mean it can't be an opportunity here intraday. So a really nice spike. So if you like IBM and you have it short here on the daily chart, it's actually a breakout. Wow, that is not really a high percentage trade on the short side there. I would say mediocre at the very best. And what's really interesting is if you're into the classic type of technical analysis on the daily chart, you can clearly see here this is a head and shoulders bottom. With I guess you could say this is like a, a right shoulder with scoliosis. It should take it forever to form. But that is basically a bottoming pattern in classic 1948 Edwards and McGee technical analysis this stock has all the makings of filling the gap here at 153 and possibly all the way up here to 156. I personally would not be short that stock, but hey, it's a game. That's the whole point, right? So you got that stock short. You're looking for it, hopefully, for that short sale position here for Jay Herzog to, uh, to end up rolling over. Oh, we have a new first place player, Mike Seglio. Let's see what he's got here. He is 
wow, I can't believe how many people bid that Roku. That is amazing. But you know what? That 70 is a good bid. Uh, two, one short position here in Home Depot, kind of not doing anything. But this is a great lesson here as well. Short sale, not, maybe not the greatest idea, but look at how the shares were allocated. That's actually a big key to winning the game, allocating the right shares to your best positions and maybe scaling back a little bit. Uh, Mike has a big long in Roku, but the big win here for him so far and uh, six minutes to let this play out is Apple Long. For those of you that don't know Long, Long means that you are a buyer and short means that you are a seller. And um, Apple on the daily chart is a pretty clean picture. We were in this window here and we said that if we got below that window, we'd be looking on the daily chart for it to close below there to have a little bit of more of an inclination. But remember what we said, it takes a lot of pressure for a stock to break new levels and specifically to change what's a really established trend. So you can see here again, Apple is refusing to get below this 215 level in that area, or 21750 actually, 218, and bouncing back above. So Mike Seglio actually nailed the bottom, expecting Apple not to follow through to the downside. So that's why he's getting paid there. That's actually a good trade and a good, good amount of shares there, Mike. Oh, Packer just jumped the lead, Mike. He just got squashed to number two. Packer long across the board. Packer 079. Uh, let's see. We got a thousand shares here in Facebook long. So we got a couple of people that bid that Facebook low at 59.50. And uh, SQ Square also almost 2,000 shares at 84.61. So you can clearly see here today, Packer. Uh, let's actually go back to the longer term daily chart of the SPY to see why somebody would come into the day looking for a long. And don't forget, when the game is over today, we are going to announce the winners on the screen. We're going to send it back over to headquarters. Um, but here's what's going on in, um, in the SPY. This is exactly why somebody would come into the day saying, I want to be all long because the short sales aren't really looking that awesome right now. Again, the only downside to being long today is the upside limited potential in the market itself. But you know what's kind of cool also is taking a look at the amount of stocks that are positive today compared to the stocks that are negative. That alone is a kind of a sneaky ninja advanced trader way of saying there's a lot of buying going on right now. Now to add even more to that, if you do change from the open as well as change from the previous close, uh, you get a really cool uh, image of what's going on without even needing to look at all this stuff. But I really like the way Packer, who is still in first place over here, loaded the boat. Uh, on the side. So Mike is trying to get up there and can't quite get past that point. Let's take a look at Heddle Gia, however you say that. Oh, actually clicked over Star Chronicles. Uh, 2,300 long and square. So we've got a couple of people loading the boat on some, some similar positions. So obviously a lot of people looking at the same charts here. I'm going to go over to Star Chronicles and see what we got here. We have uh, Square, Amazon, and the big one is Apple. Boy, the, the price just, we just keep jumping back and forth. Uh, let's see, A. Reeves still with a positive P&L in fifth. And look at this, Apprentice about to move up in rank in the leaderboard over the longer term and their status, even though this short sale in MU is getting hit, 42 on. So loading the boat on the biggest position. Awesome, awesome lesson here that this is real trading. This is how you become a successful trader by allocating and letting your edge do the work. You don't load the boat on one position. If that one position doesn't work out, you're done. But look at this. Spread out, spread out, spread out. So three out of five are winning trades, but because the shares are allocated properly, loading it up and moving. So, oh, Mike, Mike getting dumped down. Oh, back down to fourth place. Adam, let's take a look and see what Adam's got going on here. Uh, Adam moving up. And Adam has some size in Amgen. Actually, that's one that we haven't taken a look at yet. Let's actually take a look at Amgen. And by the way, we can get a nasty move to the upside if the SPY and the market does happen to push through. We actually have two minutes left in the game. Uh, let's take a look at Amgen on the intraday chart. So you can clearly see here, uh, this is where Amgen opened. So we're clearly above the opening price and uh, just exploded, and we got a nice little pause here leading to a nice move. So you got a really good fill here at 11 o'clock on the Amgen. I mean, look at that P&L and a nice bounce over there. So really good job then, uh, Adam, and oh, I love that uh, profile, pretty cool. Uh, so Adam actually moving up and is an expert here, ranking sixth in the current Packer, just not letting go, and currently has a $1,000 P&L over WIST 19 
73. We are actually winding down in the game right here, and you can see here that um, most of the P&L here is spread across the board, UNH and NVIDIA. Uh, not much time left in the game here, only 56 seconds. Let's actually take a look at UNH. We have not looked at that one before. I want to go back to Apple, too. A few people picked up. Oh, really nice spike at the perfect time. This is unbelievably good example of the game. Look at how getting the fill at the time the game starts matters. That's crazy because regardless of what the stock did before that, you got the fill here, almost nailed the bottom in that. So really nice job there. Uh, 32 seconds. Again, don't forget to stick around after the game is over. I will hand it over to headquarters. We have 26 seconds left, and Packer is refusing to give up the lead. As a matter of fact, expanding the lead as Mike has dropped down to eighth place, and Packer just loaded the boat on the longs. And that's looking good. And let's actually go over to the SPY. We're probably going to end up seeing the SPY breaking out here. Uh, and push three out. Oh, this is a good example to end the game. Let's actually go back over to the game. We got above that level and did not stay there. That's a big, big example of what to do. And the game is over. Let's wait to see where my place popped up because I know I did not have a great game. I picked my, my picks early instead of waiting. That's actually a big tip. Uh, pick your games as the market or the game is about to start, you'll get much better ideas. I finished out of the money, so I'm not even in it. I finished in 91 place, and that's why I'm still an apprentice. All right, everybody. So what I'm going to do very quickly is I am going to finish up. I am going to stop sharing my screen. I am going to hand it over to my partners over at Battlestock's headquarters, and we are going to do a raffle for the game. Don't forget also that you can um, – pick cryptos during the day too, but most of the crypto games have been going on at night. That seems to be when a lot of the games are happening in crypto. So we're going to hand it over to headquarters and let's get that raffle going. All right. So in third place in the stocks in play giveaway, let's see what the system picks. Third place is going to, and the $50 Amazon gift card going out to Chloe Shepard. Awesome job, Chloe. We will be getting in touch with you via email within the hour. Next, we are looking at the second prize for the Amazon gift card of $75. Goes out to Thars1993. Nice job. And don't forget, everybody is entered into the giveaway. It goes into a sweepstakes. The higher you place in the money, you get more choices. And the grand prize winner for the 11 o'clock Stocks and Play on September 19, 2018, we have Abasis, I guess is how you say that, the $125 Amazon gift card. Thank you so much, everybody, for participating. I love doing these events, just absolutely awesome. We are going to call it a day today. Unbelievable. We will give everybody a shout out and we will post a video and send everybody an email later. Have an awesome day. Thank you so much, everybody. We'll speak to you soon.